Hey, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road in Atlanta. We're in the Woodlands at Sweetwater Brewery right now with Eddie Ninevolt. Eddie Ninevolt, welcome. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah. Man, this is a fun reunion. It's, it's been, a reunion, uh, man. 2017, man. Jesus. That's right. That's right. Since, Thanks for uh, having us. Since the Georgia flood in the, in the New York studio with all the tapes and that 4x3 old tube television that you guys brought to Dude, we went all out, man. It's good to see you, Brad. How you been? I've been very well, man. I've been very well, and I've just gotten better having listened to you guys' sound check. Uh, you're making this space sound the way that this space should, so thank well, thanks, you very brother. much. And, uh, and there's a lot of your music that we're going to share with everybody right now. Man, we're going to hear uh, four songs today, very representative uh, collection of songs from across the catalog. Man, what's happening first today? So we're going to do the first song. It's kind of a nod to Elmore James, one of my heroes, uh, off the new album, Left My, uh, excuse me, Little Black Flies. This one's called uh, She Got Some Money. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Thank you, man. This is so much fun. You guys sound amazing. Um, and we uh, can you talk a little bit about the way that the music is made, the way that the, the albums are made? Um, clearly having a good time during the performance is a big part of, uh, of what you guys are up to. I mean, this is fun. This is loose. I'm having a great time. Dude, and it yeah. seems like the studio environment is a similar thing for you. Can you talk about the importance of keeping it loose and keeping it live as well? Yeah, man. It's not really even a studio. We, you know, we call it Echo Deco, but uh, it's me and my brother Lane. Everyone say hey to Lane. And uh, we, hey, yeah, hey. he's the producer, man. He does everything, man. Like I said, it wouldn't, it, we wouldn't have the 89 volt sound without Lane Kelly, man. 
But uh, no, man, we just like to get in the, in the, in the zone. Like I said, I, I called all these cats over and uh, I said, you know, they had no idea that it was even going to be recording. <laughs> and they pull up. <laughs> Let you know, alone live streamed. Yeah, and then they pull up and then, like, I'm just I'm hooking up mics to the bass drum and everything. I'm like, whoa, what are we doing? I'm just like, have a beer, man. Have a beer. <laughs> and uh, no, it was very loose, but, you know, we've, we've played so many times with that band and so many of those guys. It was just like a homecoming, you know? For sure. It was just amazing to play with everybody, though. Nice, man. Well, dude, Little Black Flies is, I've, I've been enjoying it very, you, very much. The recorded version is, uh, is amazing, as is what you guys are doing here today. This is what this room is supposed to sound like, so thank you for making uh, this much noise in this echoing, cavernous uh, space, man. We it's really cool. appreciate it. It's cool, though. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it is, man. And we, uh, so we've just, just gotten underway, man. There's a lot more of your music to be shared with the internet, man. What's coming up second today? So we're going to do this song. Uh, we're, uh, I want to make a shout out to Theo Vaughn. He uh, helped us uh, get this song out there. But this one's uh, called uh, uh, The Come Up. If I can get my guitar to work. But yeah, this is a fun one, man. This is a fun one.
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chad, Chad Mason on keys, man. Thanks to Sweetwater, man. Thanks to Sweetwater for hooking us up, man. Yeah, man. Cheers to you guys, dude. This has been incredible, man. So when you're when you're you're clearly a bunch of dudes who enjoy each other's company and enjoy hanging out and having oh, yeah. an adult beverage when the time is called for and that time is right now. Um, what is what tends to be your go-to? Are you beer guys? Are you spirits guys? Or what do you what do man, you tend to enjoy? Anything, guys, man. I've been <laughs> I've been drinking a little bit of red wine, but I've just recently, man. You know, uh, but. Uh, I'm mainly a Sweetwater 420 fan, and I know they don't have no guns pointing at me or anything here, but uh, <laughs> I swear to God, man, I, I love Sweetwater, man. Um, but yeah, whenever we, we look for that first. Uh, beer, you know, if it's a quit live session, I'm not going to be doing too much hiccups, but I try to stick away from the beer because I'll start burping on the mic, you know? <laughs> don't try to do that, though. Well, dude, I mean, yeah, if, if you guys were to be playing delicate music where hiccups and burps would be picked up, I mean, there's, there's nothing delicate about this yeah. set right now. It feels like you could hiccup right into that mic. Oh, and it'd yeah. be fine. Yeah, we, we could and we should probably. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys geek out over beer or do you geek out over wine? Like, do you really, really dive in deep and get to know it? Or are you just an enjoyer of, man, of the liquid I, itself? I get really deep in uh, bourbon, man. I'm a bourbon guy, you know. Uh, I'm not going to name any names because we're not the right place to do that. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just... Uh, I gave my uh, grandpa an 18-year-old uh, a scotch the other day, and uh, we, we're a big alcohol family. Lane used to make uh, wine at our family parties and uh, fish fries and everything, and we really had that. We, we used to live in, a, that's where we did the record, was in Monticello, Georgia, you know, and um, yeah, Lane would make homemade wine. We'd go get catfish, and we'd get the deep fry out, and uh, I'm not kidding you. Aaron knows, man. He was there. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I heard I heard about those fish fries. I heard. I mean, that had, relates to your ability as as lyricist, right? Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, we. It was just that's how we used to learn. My uncle Brian, shout out to Uncle Brian, man. He would he would just tell us. He would make up lyrics, and that's kind of what we do. We just make up the lyrics, you know. It's just about all about the music and the vibe, you know. I try to if I just try to be like Lightning Hopkins, man. <laughs> Is that, I mean, is that the uh, the lyrics that we hear on the record? Are a lot of those, is that just ad-libbed in the studio? Do yeah, you, a lot yeah. of that is ad-lib in the studio. Just, just, man, we were so, we were so high on gin, man, like toward the end of it. We were just, I couldn't even play guitar. And that's not a good thing to say, but, but we had, we had great <laughs> musicians. That's why I like to, I like to rely on great musicians, man. Cause if, if one of us falls out, one of us can fall in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, you know, you're, I think you're in a safe place place and good company to, to oh, relay yeah. a message like that right now. I think nobody, nobody's judging you here. No, yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. Dude, this has been great. And uh, we are only halfway through, man. There's, there's nice. a lot more music still. Nice. What are you guys going to do third today? Uh, we're going to, we're going to do this one. This was off the uh, debut title uh, track. This one's called Left My Soul in Memphis. And uh, yeah, shout out to Memphis, man. I love that city. And if you're listening, uh, we're going to dedicate this one to the Kenyans. Larry and Nancy Kenyon.
Just who you are. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you, Brad. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Brooks. Thank you, everybody, man. You guys sound great here. And uh, and there's a lot uh, or a couple of opportunities coming up in the in the per fairly near future yeah. for people to check you out live, right? You're at Brooklyn Bowl Nashville, yeah, Eddie's yeah. and Eddie's as well. Yeah, uh, we're playing at Brooklyn Bowl, opening up for Rebirth ba Brass Band. Oh, just an, I can't wait for that, man. This is our... We've been playing cl clubs and dives, man, for the last like three years, you know, just honing and, and, and building the band and playing, you know, four hour sets into like 3 a.m. This is gonna be our first show in like three years that we're, you know, we're since the pandemic that, we, you know, I gotta write a set list. <laughs> So this, that's a new thing for now, man. But we're, is we're, this session sort of helping maybe yes, inform the set this list? this is rehearsal, man, but in, in the best way, man. You know, we got you guys to make it sound good, man. Yeah, man, use it for, for all it's worth. And then, so after that, you're, uh, you're here in town, right? Yeah, uh, we're playing back. We play at Blind Willie's is, is a, a blues club. We play at Blind Willie's a good bit in the Virginia Highlands. That's always a party, man. I mean, it's, those are our laid back shows. If you want to really see us kind of get loose, like you were talking about, those are the good shows that come in. But uh, but no, I, I'm ready to get the band polished and, 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 and get back into that, you know, 40 minute set, just hit them hard and hit them fast, you know? That's what I'm looking forward to. Nice, man. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward. I don't think that I'm going to be in town for the Brooklyn Bowl or for, for Eddie's Attic, but I'm, I'm looking forward vicariously for, I mean, on behalf of the people who do get to see you live. I'm yeah. enjoying this very much. Well, this thanks is, so much, yeah. Brad. Like I said, it's been full circle. We saw, we met each other in 2017 up in Manhattan. I think Marcus King was after us, man. Yeah, that, that's right. That was awesome. But uh, I love those guys, man. But yeah, just thank you for having us, brother. We appreciate it. Well, man, it's great to see you again. Thank you, as always, for the music. And we're still not done. There's still another uh, another song to be shared with everybody. Yeah. Uh, this song is uh, one of our favorites. We wrote it. Uh, we wrote this one. And uh, this one's called Little Black Flies. Wrote this one. And uh, Lane, sorry, that sounds a little blinding. But I know. I'll be all right. But uh, no, uh, Lane did, made this thing sound wonderful. I'm going to switch on a gadget real quick. There we go. This one's called Little Black Flies. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the future. One, two, three, four. A long time ago, I was in love with a girl. But I think I pushed that love a little too far. Ooh. You can see the cigarette burns in the wild. in the hall If the water gets too rough you know who to call Don't you baby And I can see the way it looks in your eyes A soul so lost with his foolish lie If you even have to ask baby I'm surprised I'm so surprised
Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Man, this has been a total pleasure. It's always great to see you. Thank you for the music every time, and uh, best of continued continued luck on Little Black Flies. It's Thanks out so in the much, world man. right now. Thanks for the two songs from that, and for the uh, the the song from the previous record, and everything that you guys did today has been great. And have a great show at Brooklyn Bowl Nashville, man. Thank Maybe you so one much. Of the, one of the first few few artists to play there, so enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you. Uh, who knows we'll where see, next? We'll I mean, see you around, somewhere. Brad. I want to thank you, Andrew. I want to thank you, Sweetwater. Thank Andrew, you. Sweetwater. Thank you to Pace, man. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I love y'all. All right. We'll see you next time.